tonight. I don't know how nice this will come out, but tonight I was sitting at my desk and I was going through some videos out there and I came upon one video from from Treasure Beach area in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica where a teacher was um, killed right at the school that she I think she was a basic school teacher and she was killed right there by her ex-boyfriend or I think they said boyfriend and I've been mulling over and over and over and I was listening to the father um, what he went through and um, he actually heard stuff happening and he tried to take precautions. He tried to do what he thought was the right thing to do. They went to the police. They did what they thought was best, but that didn't stop him from taking her life. And so as I thought about it, um, my I did my degree in, my first degree is elementary education and with a minor in psychology. And then my bachelor's degree is behavioral science. And then my master's degree, again, is elementary education. And some things kept flooding back in my head, um, thinking of some of the things that we talked about um, in some of the classes I did. I think that background helped me as a teacher you know, as I manage behaviors in my classroom and understanding the children as they grow up and as you identify the kind of behaviors and connect it to the home behaviors. And you see the, you see how when children are not taught to love themselves, to be proud of who they are. When we do not build self-esteem in children and then they become bitter and they become hateful and they become paranoid in every single thing. They feel that people don't like them for no reason. Um, they feel like they're not good enough. They feel like they're not smart. And sometimes they blurt out these things and I, I often say to parents, Encourage your children, you know, not just to buy them a nice pair of sneakers and and to buy them the 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 the, the most recent video game or to to you know just put them in these things that have no value. But as they grow, it's better for them not to have much. But they are strong individuals. They are. They're able to understand that everybody won't like them and it's okay. And it's not because of the color of their skin, the way somebody didn't like them, but it's maybe because they don't fit that mold. Kids like um, people too, like people for different reasons. Some of us, we like people because they can buy us nice things. Some of us, we don't care about nice things. We just want to be respected and treated kindly. And some of us, we get up every day and we expect so much from other people. Instead of getting up and say, let's work together. We want them to pay our bills. If they didn't pay our bills, then they're not nice and they're not good enough. And, and so we go about our days and we become angry and become bitter and, and, and hateful because people we're not getting what we want we're not evaluating situations and to say I can do too if two of us are working together we do so much better than when we work apart and I know that this at this time it is stressful for the parents and who wants to bury their child you know it's stressful and to know that they knew of what was going on they went to the police and 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 it just seemed hopeless but tonight i want to also speak to us as women who oftentimes 
will just instead of keeping silent for a minute <laughs> just keep silent for a minute and in the heat of passion just know that if two of you are, are up there then there's nothing that's going to work out and people become frustrated and from that frustration and you can get you when you can get your word in then comes a the pushing and the and, and the name calling and then it becomes just a push sometimes it didn't have to be a hard push for somebody to fall and hurt themselves because we became so intense let us remember sometimes just leave it alone please people we're beautiful people we have so much to offer sometimes just leave it alone sometimes we even when it's over we're still going and we're still going and we're nitpicking and we are you know we, we like to say things that are not even true just to make people feel less than they are so my grandmother there she always said teeth and tongue must meet but let us also remember that a soft answer turneth away wrath i said in a video let us speak sweet words because when we speak sweet words, people feel better. They feel good inside and it, it prevents that big blowout that can cause death sometimes. So I'm asking us as women, it's not just the men who are angry and, 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 and hateful and, and cruel. Sometimes we as women too, we, we, we instigate and we needle and we push and we we belittle, we put down and we make them feel like nothing. And then instead of something to be calmly taken care of, it becomes a big, a big thing that creates hateful feelings. And sometimes no matter how much we say that um, we didn't mean it, once those words fly out of your mouth, how can you tell somebody you didn't mean it? So I, I just felt so bad that this young lady, beautiful young lady, I don't know who she was as a person. I know that in the, the in, in part of the thing, somebody mentioned that, oh, she talked too much. I don't know. I cannot say anything about her because I didn't know her. But what we need to do as we go along understand don't assume everybody's wholesome inside mental health is a is it's it's a it's an interesting thing and because somebody's going on and they seem normal it doesn't have to mean that they are because sometimes we don't know what they're going through <coughs> sorry we don't know but you see them going day by day and they're going and they're going and sometimes just one little thing spoken the wrong way throws that curveball in and creates a whole lot of mess. Sometimes people keep doing and doing and they, they, they're they doing so much and and the ungrateful behaviors just persist and and, 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 and the, 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 it, it, it just continues. If you're in situations where sometimes you do so much and sometimes when you hear people just quickly say no to you for no reason. And even when you just finish doing so much and the person is quick, can you do so and so? Nope. Then you, you stop for a minute, you know, and you look. But you know what? You tell yourself you're better. You're the better person. You don't allow those things to eat you up and to put you in that position where you have to start saying, I did this for you, I did that for you, and now, and it becomes a big power because a person who is quick to say no is a person who will tell you you never did anything for them. So what are you going to do? You're going to sit there and go toe to toe and, and oh, but I did this last week and I did. No, it's not worth it. So sometimes you have to learn to just smile and you move on because you know what and don't take oath about oh i'm not doing this again i'm not doing that because when you have the kind of heart where you love and you care 
tomorrow that same person will need support and you're going to be there again. So don't take oaths. Don't get caught up into the back and forth. Don't do that because I'm, I'm saying that to say that a lot of the killings and the maiming and the, the, the things that go on, the burning up and all those, it starts from a harsh word today, a put down, until it becomes a push, until it becomes hard, blown out fights, because everybody, nobody's backing down, and it's going to be, you know, somebody's going to win. They always say, when is going to go to the morgue and one go to jail? So either way, so there's no win-win. It's a loss-loss. Because it's just what it is. So I'm getting ready for bed and, and it kept bothering me. I took some notes while I was sitting out there from this evening. I was taking some notes and and then I'm shaking it off. But as I showered and came in and it's still needling at me, I said, just talk to the sisters. We know that men are who they are and we know we, we always associate anger with them, but a lot of times it's a two-way street. A lot of times we as women, because we don't stop, we don't stop. We keep going and going and going. Sometimes people's mind becomes overwhelmed and they're tired. They're so tired and they try to escape and get some quiet and we go at them and we continue on until it becomes a problem. So I'm just saying to us beautiful sisters, princesses and queens, our four parents, that's who they were. Please carry yourselves with dignity and pride. Just know that you're beautiful inside and out. Just know that you are strong and you create that mindset where you know just find those little phrases that you know what it's not even worth it walk away learn to say I'm sorry don't let it be a word you use too often because <laughs> then it means you're messing up too often but learn, put, add it in your vocabulary I am sorry I think you misunderstood what I said listen listen carefully because sometimes, because we, we don't listen, we don't hear the full, and so we jump at things. And so it's a two-way street, all right? It's a two-way street. If you can find a way to keep peace, keep the peace. And, and whatever happens later, if you need to move on, then you move on in peace. Because anger is a bad thing. And when we, we become, oh, I'm walking out of here, I'm not, you sorry this, you sorry that, and I want to have nothing to do with you. A lot of times you hear women talking about, oh, you're nothing, you're nothing. I, there are men out there who, or I have another. And, and we create this thing where anger starts building in the other person. And they start saying, well, if I can't get you, then nobody's going to get you. And we, we still push because we feel like they're telling us that they really love us. So we keep pushing. And we keep saying things until it becomes a, a thing where it, it, we can't go back. So even if you're going to leave, just... You don't need to make it a big thing. If you know that it's too much now and the disrespect, you should be disrespected. You want to leave, leave in a way so that you can still say hello. Don't leave with the anger so they come hunt you down because they spent so much on you and you took everything they have and now there's going to be war. Work hard. Build together. Build together. Build together. Keep your independence. Don't sit down and wait for handouts. Don't sit down and... <clears throat> You know, go out there and do what you can do, whatever it can be. And so you're working together as partners in any situation. You're working together as a team. And so when situations change, 
is not satisfying you anymore. Don't make it become a demeaning thing. Because things will change. But make it so that they can still keep their dignity and move on. If you want more than what they're offering, you know, then you move on with 